It is mid-February and the food forest is officially one year old. So here is our one year walkthrough. So the sugar cane look great. Um, the peppers, we've got coriander going. Here's our sapodilla. It lost a huge portion of it from the freeze. We had a few frosts and we covered it, but I guess not well enough on that one branch, but we still have plenty left. Here's my strawberry bed. Already been harvesting strawberries and sharing with the squirrels. These are shuxan. They're, they don't look that good, but they're really delicious. This is a Thai jujube. We just got it a few weeks ago and it's starting to wake up. This is our Nam Dok Mai Mango. So it has mixed bloom all over it. This is another jujube. It's waking up. We've got our cabbage and parsley. There's lemongrass, there's some new greens. We are planting out a whole bunch of sorrel. We have these vines here. They're called a fragrant melon, so I look forward to growing those. And we have a whole bunch of cassava. This jujube was root bound, so we dug it up and are gonna rehab it. Our grapefruit is regrowing. All the citrus looks really good. Most have blooms. Those are the potatoes. Here are some jackfruit seedlings. Got some greens about to go out. All of the bougainvillea are flowering. So it starts with this tie and then they keep arching all the different colors all the way down the citrus. This is a Persian lime. It has some new growth, but I don't think I saw flowers on it yet. This is a finger lime and it has flowers. In this bed, we have just lettuce and greens. We have bok choy that's going to seed. This eggplant, which does so great. Just more lettuce. This is the lemon. I think this is Meyer lemon. This is by far the best it's ever looked. This has been in the ground, I wanna say probably five years. It's been in here before the food forest. This is, um, an Asian pear. What else? This is a ring pear lime. I don't think it has new growth yet. In this bed there is tobacco, more lettuce, and peppers. Those peppers are from last year and they are finally looking really good. I'm gonna go over there in a moment. This is a seedling orange we got out on one of our hikes. Regrowing nice. This is a sour orange. And then over here is a kumquat. <laughs> Bougainvillea. In here I'm taking a whole bunch of different colors and grafting them inside this tree. So there are three colors in this tree now. In this bed, we have nasturtium. This is a black velvet version. Tomatoes and peppers. And then we put a ginger. This is our longan, and it's flowering also. This has grown so much. In here, we have the true yam, and then some greens. I think these are callaloo or celosia. I think these are the callaloo. And then we've got garlic. 
There's Pepper eating something. All right, so this goes to see the other side. Oh, here's a, this is a Hamlin orange. It's about to flower. Okay, let's go see the other side. So on this side we have plums, a pluot, this is a pear, and that's another pear. There's a blackberry, that's an apple, another apple, and an apple. In this bed, these are all sorrel. Pretty sure there's a sorrel. And there's a cassava. We have another cassava. Garlic, rosemary, peppers, tomatoes. In this bed, we have more peppers. Again, these are from last year. Last year, they did not look good at all. Feel free to watch any of the old videos and see our experimentations, but these are looking really good. This is the Einsteiner apple. See, I have potatoes and bags everywhere. These cabbage, I don't think this bed gets as watered regularly. So I don't think those are performing as good as the, other, as the others. This is the Anna apple. This is a nitrogen fixer. This is um, winter cassia. It's also a host plant to the um, sulfur caterpillar. I saw, oh, there we go. I saw a few on here. Um, along this fence, I had ginger, so we'll see if it comes back up. This is a Dorset golden apple. This is a thornless blackberry. The one in the front are doing much better. This is the Florida home pear. These are all potatoes. It's super dry. I'm going to come out and water this. We have tomatoes. This is a rosy gold mango. We added this a few weeks ago. Pushing out some new growth. is Dapple Dandy Pluot. This is AU Rosa Plum. Um, she performed so well last year, but is slow to wake up this year. Uh, this is all Barbados Cherry. This is Byron Gold Plum. So it's flowering. We got a few plums off this last year. And this is um, methylly plum. All right, let's go to the backyard. A lot of things are blooming. It is definitely spring in Tampa Bay. There are the bananas. We lost this one from a freeze. We protected it, but I guess not well enough. I think it's a double Mahoy and a dwarf Cavendish. Let's just go over what's flowering. So that's fire spike. We're putting Moringa on the floor because it's going to be like a canopy layer. And then we've got cocoa that are going to come planted back here. This is about to flower, Starburst Clarodendrum. It dropped all of its leaves in one of the freezes. This is a Java plum. It's going to get like 120 feet, so we're gonna keep that in a pot. Um, this is another fire spike, the pink. You can see there's bleeding heart all back there. We have a shrimp. This is one of my favorite shrimp. It's like lime green and hot pink. Lantana, it's in every Florida landscape. There's our dragon fruit. There's two different ones. This is a red 
Mabel. Um, it's green growing, but I don't think I've seen any flowers on it yet. And then these are blueberries. See, they're starting to flower. There's another blueberry. This is a pineapple. Regrowing. Light bulb clarodendron. And we have three more kinds of bananas. And then behind there is um, um, Dutchman pipe vine. The polydomus eat it. On my red powder puff. This plant is Brazilian bellflower. Then we had to dig up all of our blueberries, so we put them in pots around. This is another blackberry or raspberry. See the bromeliads are flowering. Light bulb clarodendron. Or this is light bulb clarodendron. That's a Chinese perfume. One of the best smells in the garden. So let's go over to this island. Um, so here are more blueberries. And then we, this is a star fruit. It had fruit on it, but we cut it off so it can focus on growing. This is coffee. This growth is insane. So much new growth. Again, there's a bunch of blueberries back there. Okay, it's very bright. Um, in that pot is a red pineapple, but it's really, really spiky and they're really long, so we're just gonna get rid of it. It's more for fun than for edibles. Here we have more of the purple fire spike. Um, this is key lime. Lots of new growth on the key lime. There is, I want to say a squash, could be a pumpkin. Uh, more pineapples. This is a Valencia orange. So I came through here about a month ago and I tipped every single branch. And then from that, you can see all of this new growth. Just because I cut that one, I came and I cut every single top. So you can see how dense they are now. These are just more for fun plants. This is sapphire shower. Salvia. This is a bunch of milkweed. Sweet almond. This is a blue sky vine. Like glows in the evening. Oh, we added a satsuma orange there. This is cestrum. That is not a pineapple, that's a bromeliad. Let's look at this. All this new growth. We just bought this so it was not tipped. All right, now let's go to the front yard.
So the sun is setting, so I'm going to just walk this way to get behind the sun. Okay. So here we have our honey kiss mango. We just planted that banana. There's neem. That is a black Suriname cherry. These are pomegranates. Put more pomegranates. The blueberry. Pretty much all of the blueberries are waking up. There's another blueberry. All of these blueberries are different and they harvest at different times of the year. So we have blueberries a lot. Here's our mulberry. So it's waking up, but I haven't seen any flowers. This is a goji berry. Um, there's a fig. This is the Violet de Bordeaux. That's just for fun, a bougainvillea. Here's a trellis for cucumbers. That is a canistel. We just got that today. This is a peach. This is the Florida Prince peach. And here's the other peach. But she is not awake. This is one of my projects, or was gotten for me. This is the lemon meringue mango. Here we have miracle fruit. It's going to be protected by pigeon pea. We got this today. This is a black sapote. There's another blueberry. Back here, this is Mysore raspberry. Down there's another cassava. We're going to rip out this porter weed and put the sapote in. We planted uh, more passion fruit along the fence and um, we've got bananas. They're all different bananas and in front of the bananas are all different kinds of blackberries. In this island we have our Barbados cherry. Right now it just has aphids and ladybugs. Those are sorrel, edible leaf hibiscus. This is a groomy chama. That's, I think, African basil. And here is squash, maybe? I think it's an eggplant. This is a royal crimson cherry. Got injured. We're gonna take it down to here after this season. But it's waking up nice. Here is our jackfruit. It dropped a lot of leaves when it got cold, but it's coming back nicely. This is, which one? Yeah, this is Venus, so she should be a late season. We got more cassava, peppers. That is a blackberry jam fruit. We got that from Echo. We've got herbs. That is um, June plum. Eggplants, all these eggplants came up for the compost. Along the fence, those are more sugar cane. Those are different colored sugar cane. Um, edible leaf hibiscus. That is a, a jabota kava. Here are some peppers. We have more sorrel back there. This is moringa. That's like a miracle food. Um, more squash. You can see there's passion vine. More sugar. Yucca. This is another mango. Yep, Cogs Hall. It's flowering. Then we have ginger with some herbs. We then have this island. We're going to put a, um, av not an avocado, papaya. So we have a squash there. This is some Thai pepper plant. We got that from Echo. And you can see the celosia. It's like, I think that's citronella grass. Over here along the house, this is our grape. One of the grapes. It's looking nice. We dug that pepper up out of a, one of the beds. These are our loquat. Still has flowers on it. That's amaranth that came up from the compost. 
that <laughs> tomato is a volunteer from the compost as well as everything in there. Um, these are going to be fun. That is the toothache plant. Uh, we just added this. This is too many things. Sour soft, yeah. That is peanut butter fruit. That is a really, really dry borage. There's another moringa. We've got aloe everywhere. That is a wax jambu. It dropped all of its leaves in the frost. We thought it was gonna die. So it looks much better. We got lemongrass and citronella, squash. And we're going to add another, or a, um, what are we gonna add? Star apple, a kaimito there. All right, so here's what it looks like. The beginning of year two.